Winnie the Pooh, Martin Luther King, and Kevin Costner are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's January 18th, 2021. There are 347 days left in 2021, and it is the third Monday of the year. We've got 61 days left until spring. If today's your birthday, you're a Capricorn. Today is Winnie the Pooh Day. The creator of the character, A.A. A. Milne, first wrote about Winnie the Pooh in 1926. The observance occurs every year on January 18th. All right, let's see what else January 18th has given us. 1896, an X-ray generating machine is exhibited for the first time by H.L. Smith. Wow, they had X-rays that long? I didn't even know that. Huh. 1911, Eugene B. Eli lands on the deck of the USS Pennsylvania anchored in San Francisco Bay, the first time ever an aircraft has landed on a ship. 1958, Willie O'Ree, the first black Canadian national hockey player, makes his NHL debut with the Boston Bruins. 1960, Capital Airlines Flight 20 crashes into a farm in Charles City County, Virginia, killing all 50 on board, the third fatal Capital Airlines crash in as many years. 1967, Albert DeSalvo, the Boston Strangler, is convicted of numerous crimes and is sentenced to life imprisonment. So the first thing is, they picked him up for a series of other things he had done to women, which I can't say because I don't want to get demonetized, but you can imagine. And while he was under arrest for that, they had no idea he was related to this series of murders they've been having for the last two years. He just started confessing to him and gave detailed descriptions of all the things and they put him in prison for life for that. But he was actually killed in prison for selling drugs and undercutting the, the mandated price by the gang that was in the prison. He was undercutting a gang and they killed him. 1990, Washington, D.C. Mayor Marion Barry is arrested for drug possession in an FBI sting. I think I talked about this one last year, but it's worth noting. This guy gets caught with a prostitute and crack in a hotel room on video camera in Washington, D.C. while he's the mayor of Washington, D.C. He goes to prison, goes to rehab, gets out, runs for office again, and wins. Yes, he was the mayor twice after being arrested in the FBI sting with drugs and a prostitute. 1993, Martin Luther King Jr. Day is officially observed for the first time in all 50 states. Martin Luther King Day is a federal holiday in the United States marking the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr., in case you don't know. In 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed into law a bill that created a national holiday in honor of King, arguably one of the most famous civil rights leaders of all time. Most states adopted this, and everyone got a day off, and it was wonderful. Unless you were in Arizona, they weren't having it, and it went like this. Then Governor Bruce Babbitt signed an executive order in May of 1986 declaring the third Monday of January of every year to honor Martin Luther King. So... They were going to do it just a year late. Then the new governor comes in in 1987, Evan Meacham, and his first act in office was to rescind this order and argue that it was created illegally by his predecessor. It got scrapped. So all the other states are celebrating Martin Luther King Day, except for Arizona. So Meacham instead issued his own proclamation that King and the entire civil rights movement would be honored on the third Sunday of every January, meaning workers wouldn't get a paid day off like a federal holiday. This was a dick move, and it angered a lot of people and organizations. There were boycotts of Arizona by a lot of major artists, you know, bands and stuff like that, and it cost the state millions in revenue and possible investments. A few years later, after getting a lot of grief over the dick move, it was put on a ballot, and Arizona voted against the creation of the Martin Luther King holiday in 1990. So the people were now not on board with it and they weren't having it until the NFL stepped in and pulled a planned Super Bowl from the state of Arizona. This hurt and Arizona voters went back to the polls and approved the measure to create the holiday. In 1996, as promised by the NFL, they got their Super Bowl. Movies released on January 18th, 1967. A fistful of dollars. One of Clint Eastwood's greatest movies. I mean, he's done some really good movies, but this is early on. The cinematography for the day and, you know, Clint Eastwood and just the storyline. Great, great movie. Born on January 18th, 1955, Kevin Costner, American actor, director, and producer. He is known for his work in Robin Hood, A Perfect World. He's received Academy Awards, two Golden Globes, Primetime Emmy, and two Screen Actor Guild Award. And of course, he was in one of the greatest flops of all time, Waterworld. But he's in this new one called Yellowstone. It's pretty good. It's a TV show. It's not bad. I've seen a couple episodes. 
Died on January 18, 2016, we lost Glenn Fry, American singer, songwriter, guitarist, and actor. He was a founding member of the rock band The Eagles. The Eagles were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1998, the first year they were nominated, so they got in right away. He died at the age of 67 due to complications from the medicine he was taking for arthritis, of all things. Yeah, I guess they didn't mix with him or something. That's too bad, too. If you ever want to see a good documentary about the Eagles, History of the Eagles Part 1. It's a two-hour documentary. Watch it and you'll realize that their career was really given a boost by Linda Ronstadt. They were actually musicians for her road thing and for recording for a while. And they decided to get their own band and she helped them a lot. Instead of being mad that they were leaving her band, she was like, absolutely. It's a really neat documentary. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a successful day, and be nice to each other.